Okay, now that we know what the object browser contains, it contains all these classes that we can use. And every class has these members in them, functions, properties, and sub-procedures, and events, and things like that. Let's go back to our own class that we wrote here. Our class was called Basketball Team, and it had one property in it. And when we use the class, we were able to declare an object of that class. So here we declared an object BB team as a basketball team, uh, as a basketball team object. And all that means is this BB team is an instance of this basketball team class. And then we were able to use that object, the BB team object, and use the the property the name property and assign to that property and then access that property and etc. And what we want to start doing now is the same thing because the same thing uh, we want to declare objects but not of our own class because like I said 99% of the time you're going to be using these classes here. So sometimes we're going to want to declare objects that are of these types like uh, objects that are instances of these classes like a worksheet object or a or a workbook object here you want to be able to declare objects like this you and specifically declare objects of these classes here all all in this window so that you can have access to all these members so you'd want to declare sometimes you're going to want to declare a worksheet object so you can have access to the activate function or subroutine here. Or you might want to activate, um, you might want to copy a worksheet. So you would, you can declare a worksheet object and then you could get access to this uh, copy function. So sometimes you might want to do that. So let's see how we declare objects that are of this objects that are of classes that Microsoft gives us as opposed to objects that we write ourselves and then we we declare them here there's gonna be one key difference and the key difference is gonna be what you're assigning it so here we declare a BB team object that is a basketball or a basketball team object and we call it BB team and then we set it equal to a new basketball team an instance of, of the basketball team class. Now, what is this actually doing? Let me just walk through real quick. When I step through, right now, BB team is declared so that it can hold a basketball team basketball team object, and you can see that in the locals window. BB team has a type that's a basketball team, but notice nothing is in it. That means there is no basketball team object assigned to it. So notice down here, where we have this dot name it's a property but right now in the code because we didn't assign it an object that is a basketball team object it doesn't have this name property so there's nothing there's no there's no properties attached to this BB team object even though it can hold a basketball team object there's no basketball team there's nothing in it so if I skip over this line and I try to run this code I get an error and I get this error oh let's see the error again it says object variable not set that means there's no object in this BB team uh, object variable and specifically there is no dot name property here I'm trying to assign Lakers to a dot name property of this BB team but look down here there is no dot name property that's because I didn't run this line I just skipped over it. I just dragged this arrow down and, and then ran that line I never ran this line in red if I go back up and now yeah, let me drag it up if I go back up and I and I now dr now take a look in the memory of the computer you can see because I did set set BB team equal to new basketball team that's when the BB team object actually gets assigned 
a basketball team object and then the name property is available to it so now when I run this line it'll work it'll, st it'll step through the code and that's because oops and that's because you know it worked and that's because this name property was available to it so this name property was available to this object because of this line here so this line is very important you you basically say BB team can hold a basketball team object that's what this line does but this line is more important because it actually takes a basketball team object and puts it in and puts it in the BB team the BB team object so now you actually have a true object with all the properties and everything and the key word the key things are this set keyword and then the name of your object equal to some object. So here's our object, a new basketball team uh, object. And when we now when we go to write um, objects of these classes, it's going to be very, very similar. Only we're not going to need to do this. All we need to do is assign it um, an object we're not going to need the new keyword we're just going to need to assign it whatever object we want so let's let's do this right now so I'm gonna put some comments in this variables module and I'm putting putting this in the variables module because this is where we talk about declaring variables so we have all these different types of variables boolean integer long blah 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 in the same way you can have an object variable and I'm just going to comment declare object variables and specifically we're going to declare objects that are in the object browser so something like this dim ws as worksheet this worksheet is a class in the object browser it's right here and it has all these members I want to declare an object so that I can access all these members all I need to do is do dim ws as worksheet and notice when you do that this window pops up and it has all the classes in the object browser so you can declare an object you can declare all these different objects and this time I'm just gonna do a worksheet object so dim ws as worksheet and now we have to assign it something right so I'm gonna do set ws equal to active sheet so notice the difference between these two lines or this line set ws equal to active sheet and and this line set bb team equal to new basketball team when you're dealing with classes you wrote yourself you want to do something like this you know set bb team equal to new basketball team but when you're dealing with the classes that microsoft gives you all you need to do is say okay I want a worksheet object so I am going to dim I'm gonna do this dim ws equal to the name of the class I want in this case I want a an instance of the worksheet class you know I want an instance of this class right here worksheet so that I can access all these things you don't need the new object you don't need the new keyword you just gotta do set ws here equal to some worksheet object and in this case the worksheet object is going to be the active sheet and if I run this uh, like I could do message box ws dot name name is a property in the worksheet class if I run this I'm gonna get that's 84 from a previous thing but here's sheet 5 so notice this sheet 5 in the message box is coming from this line right here you could do a similar thing if I just copy this you know just to show you what we're going to be deal dealing with in a little bit with the workbook you could do set 
you could do set WB equal to a workbook object and then you set or dim WB equal to workbook object and then set WB equal to the active workbook and then WB dot name and if you run this you get sheet 5 and then you get book 11 dot XLM that's the name of our workbook so now you're declaring variables object variables that are instances of classes that Microsoft is giving you and there's all these classes so you could declare object variables to be whatever you want in here and then you'll have access to all these things the properties functions and sub procedures um, <clears throat> that's all I want to show you now and th this is this is important and the main thing is that you know here we're not doing new worksheet we're actually assigning it something that something that exists like like a active like a sheet so here I can do let me just try this I have a worksheet called sheet 4 here let's go into here and go sheets sheet 4 so now I'm actually assigning WS to be sheet 4 and if I run this I get 84 and then I get sheet 4 because I said make WS whatever the sheet 4 object you know sheet 4 is a worksheet so make WS that particular worksheet object and that's what this does here so we're gonna use this later on in upcoming videos and I want you to be aware that you can do this you can you can go into the object browser and now you can have objects in your code to be any of these things and you could access their members uh, of the you could access the members of these classes just like we did here this dot name is a member of the work the workbook class um, and it's I put it in this variables module because look at look at the difference you know dim var integer as integer here and then all the rest of the variable types it's very similar to what you're doing here dim WS as worksheet only up here you're not do, using a set keyword whereas here when you deal with objects you need a set keyword and you need to sign it a particular object okay that's it for this video